come le figure, essendo vestite di mantello, non debbono tanto mostrare lo nudo che il mantello paia in sulle carni, se già tu non volessi che il mantello fosse sulle carni. Impero che tu debbi pensare che tra il mantello e le carni sono altre vesti che impediscono lo scoprire e il parere la forma delle membra sopra il mantello. E quelle membra che fai di scoprire falle in modo grosse che le apparisca sotto il mantello altre vestimenta. Ma solo farai scoprire la quasi vera grossezza delle membra a una ninfa o a uno angelo, i quali si figurano vestiti di sottili vestimenti sospinti e impressi dal soffiare dei venti sopra le membra di dette figure.
by an angry mob of fundamentalists for accidentally exposing her arm while she was driving. The situation is getting so bad that one person in an editorial of the Times compared the treatment of women there to the treatment of Jews in pre-Holocaust. Women have to wear burqa and have been beaten and stoned in public for not having the proper attire, even if this means simply not having the mesh covering in front of their eyes. Another was stoned to death for trying to leave the country with a man who was not a relative. Women are not allowed to work or even go out in public without a male relative. Professional women such as professors, translators, doctors, lawyers, artists and writers have been forced from their jobs and stuffed into their homes so that depression is becoming so widespread that it has reached emergency levels. Thank <laughs> you. 
There is no way in such an extreme society to know the suicide rate with certainty, but relief workers are estimating that the suicide rate among women who cannot find proper medication and treatment for severe depression and would rather take their lives than live in such conditions has increased significantly. Homes where a woman is present must have their windows painted so that she can never be seen by outsiders. They must wear silent shoes so that they are never heard. Women live in fear of their lives for the slightest misbehavior. Because they cannot work, those without male relatives or husbands are either starving to death or begging on the street even if they hold fiddies. There are almost no medical facilities available for women and relief workers in protest have mostly left the country taking medicine and psychology treatment and other things necessary to treat the skyrocketing level of depression among women. At one of the rare hospitals for women, a reporter found still nearly lifeless bodies lying motionless on top of beds, wrapped in the burka, unwilling to speak, eat or do anything but slowly wasting away. Others had gone mad and were seen crouched in corners, perpetually rocking or crying, most of them in fear. It is at the point where the term human rights violations has become an understatement. Husbands have the power of life and death over the women relatives, especially the wives, 
But an angry mob has just as much right to stone or beat a woman, often to death, for exposing an inch of flesh or offending them in the slightest way. Thank mm-hmm. you.